turn our attention to Battleground Calgary now. The city is gearing up for an October municipal election, one that could turn into a royal rumble if our next guest throws his hat into the ring. Radio talk show host giant Dave Rutherford says he's thinking about challenging <laughs> Calgary Mayor Nahid <laughs> Nenshi in the next well. election. <clears throat> Dave, you're in our Calgary yeah. studio. You're still thinking about it, I take it? <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, it was, I was on a holiday in Mexico, and all of a sudden, boom, this thing blew up. Um, a reporter asked me a question about rumors that were apparently on the street and asked me if they were true. And uh, I'm not going to lie to a reporter. Somebody had contacted me and uh, wondered if I'd be interested. I guess, if anything, I sort of made the media mistake of not saying no. Uh, I agreed to meet with the folks. I thought, sure, why not? My show is retiring after 20 years at the end of July, and uh, that's well known. Everybody knows that. And so I've always said on the air, my options are open. I don't quite know what I'm going to do after the end of the program at the end of July. My wife and I are talking about taking some time and some R&R &R and, and figuring out maybe what we might want to do. So. My options have always been open, and I, and I said to the person that contacted me, sure, I'll meet you guys, why not? Um, and so I said that to the reporter, and after that, well, here we are. <laughs> you have to be careful what you tell reporters, of course. <laughs> you, uh, I'm finding that out. So, so, but I'm, I'm not hearing a, a, a yes or a no. It's, it's, it's a possibility that, that you could run for mayor. Is there something that would, would motivate mm -hmm. you to challenge Nahid Nenshi? Well, that sort of seems to be the question that uh, what, you know, I know you don't have a policy yet and you haven't decided yet, but if you did, what <laughs> would it be? Um, you know, I, I have not sat down to analyze the uh, minutia of Calgary politics, to tell you the truth, and, and sort of sift through the tea leaves and find the quintessential uh, reason I would want to do it. Um, you know, everybody in, in Calgary is telling me that Nahed Nenshi is uh, unbeatable. You know, he's, it's a shoe-in, it's a coronation. And uh, I don't think it is. Uh, there are some lightning rod issues in any city, especially about finances, and there are in Calgary. So, you know, the, some of those issues could be ones that uh, a candidate might want to talk about. But to be honest, I haven't got to that point yet. Um, I haven't got uh, a group of people yet that I even know about that uh, is serious about putting together uh, a campaign. So. At this point, uh, I am, I'm interested, uh, I'm looking around, I'll talk to these people, and we'll see where it goes. All right, well, let's step back a little bit, do a little bit of a big picture thinking, okay? Uh, I know I've listened to your radio show uh, yeah. quite often. Uh, I know that you're a small C conservative thinker. Do you believe that Calgary then needs a, a small C conservative alternative to Nahid Nenshi? Yes. And, Next and, question. And, and why would that? And why would that be? <laughs> well, listen, uh, Calgary is a bit of an anomaly. Uh, it is a conservative city, without a doubt, but it has a habit of electing liberal mayors, and and we've had this as a track record going back decades. So for some reason, Calgarians seem more comfortable with liberal mayors. I don't know why it is, um, but we're into some financial realities in Alberta and in Alberta cities that I think need. Um, a more fiscal, a fiscally conservative approach. I really do. I say it about the provincial government. Uh, I think they're messing things up. And the same thing can be said about municipal government. So, yeah, do we need um, a, a tighter rein on the finances? Absolutely we do. And maybe a conservative, a fiscally conservative candidate could do that and, and get Calgarians interested in, in what they're seeing in their tax bills. Uh, which you, they're going up and up and up. And uh, I know there's frustration about that. Well, but because you have a, a call-in show, you talk to Calgarians, you talk to Albertans regularly, are mm -hmm. those kinds of issues on people's radar right now on potential <clears throat> voters next October? Absolutely they are. Absolutely they are. I guess the question is, um, I've said on the radio many times that, you know, I'm not really interested in getting into politics. I, I've covered political life for well, 42 years in my radio career. And so, you know, uh, I don't know if I want to jump into the cut and thrust of, of politics. So I've, I've said that on the air many times. Um, I've been approached by other people in other political venues. So this isn't the first time. Is municipal, the arena in municipally what I want to do? I don't know. Is it provincially? Maybe. Is it federally? I don't know. 
I've been a big supporter of the senator in waiting elections in the province of Alberta. I think the Senate is a very viable instrument in Canada. So, you know, um, there are lots of options politically, I think, if I wanted to pursue them. Um, I haven't pursued anything specifically yet, including this. All right. Well, Dave, we will be waiting to hear what your decision is, whether it's municipal, provincial, federal. I suppose <laughs> there's all kinds of possibilities. Well, there really are. And I think that's, the, that's what I like about the fact that the show is coming to an end at the end of July. And after that, really, uh, there are lots of options, I hope, and lots of possibilities. All right. Dave Rutherford, thank you. Thank you. Joining us now for his perspective on what could be a very interesting municipal race in Calgary is Albertan, former federal conservative minister and Sun columnist Monty Solberg. Gee, you wear a lot of hats. You're in our <laughs> Toronto studio. Good to have you back on the show. Great to be with you, Daniel. Well, you know, I've just been talking, obviously, with, uh, with Dave Rutherford, and uh, he hasn't made up his mind if he's going to enter politics at whatever level. Uh, but if he did enter politics, how big a challenge do you think that he could pose to Nahid Nenshi in a Calgary mayoral race? Well, I think he'd uh, pose a very serious threat to the, uh, to the current mayor. You know, my, my BlackBerry has been buzzing for several days now, people asking me about whether or not uh, this was true, whether there was anything uh, to it. Uh, I was a little bit surprised to hear Dave say that he was, you know, he was sort of considering it. Uh, but, uh, you know, I like competition. I like the idea of somebody holding uh, the mayor to account, uh, irrespective of, you know, uh, what perspective they come from. But certainly, because Dave is uh, a conservative, I think it would be an exciting race, and he'd really have something to offer uh, to Calgarians. What's your analysis of where Nenshi is in terms of political popularity, in terms of being in tune with the voters of, of Calgary and the taxpayers? in Calgary. There was a lot of enthusiasm when he was first elected. And do you think that some of that enthusiasm has kind of died down a bit? Well, it has. You know, he was very popular, especially in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, you know, there's no question that Mayor Nenshi has been a, quite a popular mayor. He's been quite I would say sure-footed up until now. Lately, he stumbled. Uh, there's been the issue of a of a sort of a rebate uh, coming back to the city of Calgary for education taxes, uh, which uh, the, the province is saying they fully expected would go back to the taxpayers of Calgary. And the mayor instead has set up a consultation process, uh, asking Calgarians, you know, are there other things you'd like to spend it on? And uh, you know that has brought down a a whole bunch of criticism down on his head and. Uh, he has not reacted well. He's become quite angry and bitter and sarcastic about it all. Uh, and, uh, you know, I don't think it flatters him. I think uh, uh, people expect, uh, you know, someone who's in politics to be able to roll with the punches. But he's gotten quite angry about all of this. And all of a sudden, you know, I think things are changing a little bit. And if somebody was serious about uh, uh, running against Marinacci, they might have a chance. You know, Dave Rutherford uh, a moment ago talked about city finances and where Calgary is in that. It's a financial crunch. It's pretty common across cities in Canada. How big an issue is that when you consider where Nenshi wants to take the city and where a Rutherford, Rutherford might want to take the city? Well, it's a serious issue. I think, as I recall, property taxes went up 6.5% last year. I, I believe that's right. I'm going by memory. You know, that's a big hike. And uh, while, the, uh, while the council said, you know, we've, we've turned over sort of every, uh, every possible project we can find and had a look at everything in every department, uh, you know, in fact, they really didn't. Uh, you know, they, they have a large bureaucracy. They didn't really tackle wages at all. Uh, I think I think there are a lot of people who say, just, just hold on here, you know, that's a big increase. Uh, you've got these big plans uh, to do things in the city. We're not all on side. And, uh, you know, I think if there was a, a, a competition where ideas were brought forward from both sides, it would really engage the public in a way that uh, typically municipal elections don't do. Uh, and we'd have a, sort of an odd election where you have a younger mayor who would be very busy on social media. And, of course, Dave Rutherford, a conservative vo voice in the mainstream media on talk radio, battling it out. I think it would be an epic battle and it would give uh, Calgarians a chance to 
to see what uh, each side had to offer in terms of ideas, and that would be, I think, really exciting. Here's one of the things I keep thinking about as I, as I read and, and think about Calgary and, and where things are at. Everyone keeps saying that Nahid Nenshi, he's untouchable. He is uh, the, the front runner by a mile. He's the favored candidate uh, to the incumbent, you know, all of those kinds of advantages. And yet we keep talking about all of the, the weaknesses and the problems in, in, in his campaign. You'd think a challenger would have already come forward. Well, you know, he is popular, and uh, one of the challenges that anybody faces when they come forward against an, inc an incumbent is name recognition alone, and uh, is very rare when an incumbent mayor is actually knocked off in Calgary, and I would, I would say that's probably the case in, in most cities. Uh, but it's different this time, because Dave Rutherford himself has such huge name recognition. It could make a very, very big difference, and you're right. Uh, we're finally getting to the point where we could talk about some issues where people do not see eye to eye on things and that would certainly be the case with this uh, 52 million dollars that the city has now found itself with and is trying to figure out how to spend when of course a lot of people say you don't have a right to figure out where, how to spend it that's my money and I want it back and I can see Dave being uh, very aggressive on that kind of issue. Yes, I could see him being very aggressive on that kind of issue, too. I mean, I, he, he does certainly have name recognition. I mean, he's got name recognition in Ontario because I was, well, I still live in Ontario, but I was living in Toronto listening to his, his radio show. Yeah, no, he, I mean, you, he's been the king of the airwaves in Alberta for 20 years. He's had an extraordinarily high, highly rated uh, popular show. Uh, one that, uh, you know, no one would ever mistake him for anything but a conservative. Right. He's tweaked a lot of noses. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of people would say, you know what, it's time for a conservative to actually run uh, the city of Calgary. And uh, a lot of people would be very enthusiastic about Dave Rutherford, I can tell you. It'd be a great race if it happens. All right. Thanks, Monty. Thanks very much, Daniel.